and Tiara here from Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. This video is budding in front of all the other soaps that I had lined up on my calendar to share with you because I was so excited to start soaping with the Soiree collection that Brangleberry sent me. The first fragrance I'm going to be using is the Peony fragrance. It was my favorite. It kind of caught my eye. And I thought about different designs of how I would go about creating this soap. And Peony, I thought, that has to be on the soap, right? And not just any peony, but a soap piped flower. Never have I ever piped soap flowers. Ever. <laughs> I've played around with icing and cakes in the bakery and when I make cakes for people, but even then, I'm not the greatest at piping flowers. So for the entertainment of this video and for this peony soap, I am going to attempt some soap flowers with soap icing. So let's get started. I'll let you guys be the judge on how they turn out. Let's get to soap making. Alright, let's get started with our oils and our last solution. I'm going to pour this in. I've also mixed in some titanium dioxide into this just so that it tones down the colors. Um, yeah, I don't want anything too bright. I'm going for like pastels and such. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of that out of here and give this a whirl. So I'm going to start off here by pouring some into this little bucket. I want to do layers, two little thin layers of pink and gold, run a hanger swirl through them, and a mica line, and yeah, fancy. So I have in this bucket, I have this Havila Gold by Soapbox Micas, and I'm just going to pour in some of my soap batter and give that a mix. I am very nervous about this fragrance. Florals always tend to either rice or accelerate. So lesson learned with that last soap, I have dispersed that mica and some of my oils just to be able to mix it in by hand first before I add that fragrance and mix that up. I really am trying to get my fragrance and my <laughs> my colors mixed in really well here before everything goes downhill. So cross your fingers and wish me luck because I really hope this fragrance plays a little bit better than the other florals I've been working with lately. <laughs> All right, let me get my mold. Badly. So in here, well, hold on, let me pour the soap in there first. In here I have some raspberry mica by Brambleberry, and that is going to be my second layer. So I'm going to pour in some of that and give that a mix. By hand first, Let's see if I can get that in there. Really, Tierra. <laughs> All right, mix that in. It'll be a really pretty pink. 
think peonies are very fashionable right now. They are in, they are the in flower. And I think it's funny, every time I say peony, Bradley's like, makes fun of me. And I'm like, it's not peony, it's peony. That's how you say it, peony. It's a funny little word, peonies. But they are my favorite flower, so I am super excited about this soap. All right, let's give that a mix and then we'll pour that. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour on this layer of pink on top of the gold and then run the hanger swirl through it. I don't know what made me want to do this, <laughs> put a hanger swirl through any part of the soap. But I thought it would look pretty. All right. All right, hanger swirl, in you go. I'm just gonna do some ups and downs. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go get some gold mica and put a little mica line on there. Okay, so I got that mica line on there. Sorry I didn't record that. It gets a little messy. All right, so the rest of this batter, I'm gonna pour off some more into this pink bucket. And then I'm going to pour some more titanium dioxide into this bucket. I'm gonna add my fragrance. And then I'll give these a mix. I'm going to do an in the pot swirl and then I will add the rest of my soap batter to my mold. Now comes the fun part. To carefully, without messing up that mica line, pour in the rest of this batter. I mean, that should be good. All right, and I'll scrape this out and we'll start putting the fun bits on top. That turned out really good. I gotta say that fragrance behaved very nicely. It is, it said mild acceleration, but I think it was beautiful. Behaved beautifully. And it smells delectable. Now the fun part. I have all of my little peonies and then some little random things in there that I had leftover piping to arrange on this. I also rolled up some soap dough into little balls and I'm going to, well they're dusted in mica, so I'm going to fill in areas in between these rosettes. I keep calling them rosettes and you know that's the bad thing because they're not supposed to be roses Tierra, they're supposed to be peonies. And when I was piping them I kept telling myself like I am poop at piping flowers with buttercream. I always have been and I'm going to be poop at piping it with soap, but I have really have to try not to go with a rose. I need more of a peony, which is, in my opinion, more rounded. So I tried to go a little more round on them and not so rose-like. So that was my goal, to go like more like a closed bud, rounded looking peony. So now is the fun part of having to arrange all of these on here and do it correctly so that one, I can fit them all on there, and two, there aren't that many spaces to fill in. So I'm gonna use maybe, I try to do them in all different sizes as well. I also have some leaves on the side that I piped that if I need to fill in anything, I can use those as well. 
So for my wedding, I really wanted peonies because they, they really are my favorite flower. But when you get married in September and you're on the East Coast, they're not easily um, attainable <laughs> for bouquets. I was hoping for like ivy and maybe some fiddleheads and some white peonies and I didn't get those but it's all right because when when I got married and everything and I got done with the bouquet I'm like I held it for two seconds and then it died I didn't do anything else with it so I'm not too disappointed now I grow them I like growing um, peonies and I grew them a couple years ago by bulbs and I was a little worried because the first year they popped up they didn't have any flowers and I'm like great my soil I know it sucks but I just basically planted myself a weed <laughs> and a subscriber last summer told me that when you plant them for the first time it does take a while for them to bloom into flowers so I feel better now I have some really pretty white peonies growing outside and it was a surprise because they took so long to bloom that I forgot what color they were. <laughs> They're still not blooming. I see little buds on them. Um, you'll also notice with peonies that they attract a lot of ants and that is because they have a lot of nectar on the outside of the, the um, buds and so the ants just literally eat that up. And the ants crawling around the buds I heard opens them up it helps to open them up all right now the fill in with all of these little gold balls on here which I'm happy I made them I always have like random blocks of soap to laying around just in case I need to do something like this make a little improvisation to fill in a soap soap balls <laughs> Peonies also come in all kinds of colors, not just pink or white. They come in every single color except for blue. You will never find a blue peony. And I think just because I should make a soap with blue peonies, if I ever get around to wanting to pipe a flower again. I'm not too big on piping, as you guys. I've probably said it a million times. When I used to work in the bakery at night, I used to go in the cake, decorating, cake decorator's area and play in her icing bags and her icing tips and I know she came in every morning mad because like nothing was where she left it and her piping bags were all empty and yeah we just had icing buckets lying around everywhere so I mean I tried to learn how to pipe. I really did. And there's a neighbor dog. We've had a lot going on outside lately on top of the noise that I typically have. Lots of construction like utility trucks have just been morning huddling on our street and I'm not sure why. I don't know what's going on besides lots of construction. It's be our streets become like a party and this morning when they drove down they knocked down one of the neighbor's wires. I don't know what it belongs to, but it was hanging down in the street, so it, it's been fun. Alright, what else can I tell you about peonies? Because I did a lot of research on them when I was trying to figure out why mine wasn't blooming. And I just, again, I love them so much. Oh, Marco Polo, when, the explorer, when he came here, he described them as uh, roses as big as cabbages. I thought that was really cute. It reminds me of something from like Alice in Wonderland. All right, I am going to stick on some of these leaves, I think. I am going to just fill in just green leaves that I had left over from some piping. And so they come in handy with something like this. This is turning out to be a very pretty soap, I have to say. Makes me want to pipe more flowers, but not really. <laughs> I heard that in China, they eat these, that they are added to desserts and like lemonades and stuff, and I thought that was pretty cool. Never eaten a peony before. I think they're too pretty to eat. We go to this Mexican restaurant and they like to serve their margaritas with orchid flowers on them. Like no matter how many of the drinks that you get, there's an orchid flower on it. And I'm like, what are they, what are they growing these things back here? I can't even get one to grow and they keep serving me drinks with them on them. And I know how hard they are to grow, but yet they're just garnishing drinks with them. So that was pretty cool. All right, I am happy with this. And I'm going to let 
the set. Actually, I'm gonna put some of these gold, gold bursting beads on here that also came with that Brambleberry collection. Those are gonna look really pretty. They'll, they'll fill in some more holes here. I'm just wondering if I need to stick any more of these little gold balls on here. Oh, this is so pretty. It's just darling. This is just a darling soap. I love it. I almost don't want to cut it because I like the I like the way they look now, not cut. <laughs> oh, also learned that it is the state flower of Indiana. Cool fact there. All right, I'm just going to give this some glitter, a little spray with a rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Let's do what I don't even know what this is. We're just gonna. Probably a snowflake sparkle. That looks good. Rubbing alcohol. I'll give you a close up look and I'll let this sit for 24 hours and come back and cut it. this and I kind of feel bad cutting it you know all those pretty flowers that I piped I'm now cutting into uh. but that happens I mean if I were to pipe flowers with buttercream and put them on a cake they're gonna get cut into and then eaten so you know that's true that's what it is all right do you think I have glycerin rivers on this yes don't say that I don't want them do you no it doesn't look like it I think we're good. No rivers for you. I, I didn't get much of a swirl on that bar, but maybe on the other ones. Like down at the bottom, I tried to put the hanger swirl through it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it created a little bit of a design in there, but not as hardcore as I was hoping for. I like it. Looks like a nice cheesecake or something. It, it does remind me of like a raspberry or strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> But it did heat up on me, and I was like, please, with all that titanium dioxide that I put in there. Look, here's Smudge here he again. again. Here he is again. Smudge. Has to come in here. It's all your fault. Mm -hmm. I really thought I'd had glycerin rivers on it, and then I was going to be really upset. Because, you know, we all know how much I hate them. <laughs> so out of all of the fragrances, I think this one is my favorite out of the four fragrances that I received. What are you doing over there? I'm trying to let Smudge see. Smudge the cameraman? Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> He's like, let me get this here. <laughs> Put the cat down and help me out. I don't think he has any thumbs. He can't help me. Here. We gotta look at the swirl here. There is a little bit of a glycerin river effect in there. Just a little. Oh, bit. yeah, I do see it. Do you see it on the camera? Oh. <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> you're looking at the actual bar, but you're supposed to be my cameraman. I'm not a very good cameraman. I'm not a professional <laughs> cameraman. See the little bit of a wisp of that I got in there? Yeah. I and like then it. there's a little bit of glycerin rivers in there, but it's not awful. It's because it got hot. Yeah. It don't got hot. Am I boring you? Yeah. <laughs> is this so putting you to sleep? I was asleep from before. Oh, okay. Anyway, the, this pink peony, I don't think I mentioned <clears throat> it. It has notes of cassis, peony, lemon, bergamot, and white musk. Mm -hmm. So it is my favorite of the four. It's soaked beautifully. I would definitely use it again or use it in other things. Next, I want to try the peach prosecco. Peach prosecco. I want to drink some peach prosecco. Yeah. And I'm going to put the champagne extract into it. Smart idea. Because that only makes sense. Good, good. I am such a practical person sometimes, like, I don't know. All the time. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, yep, happy with this soap. Love how it turned out. Let's look at the top of that. Let me see the top of it. Oh, it's pretty. Is that pretty? It's beautiful. And the colors and the layers. Oh, yeah. And the designs and that swirl. I'm super happy with it. Right, cut a couple more of them. I am going to put in a little bonus video at the end of this. Oh yeah? It is going to be of me cutting another soap that I just made before I cut the soap. It is an all natural, unscented soap. And I didn't film it. 
I did not film the making of it. It takes me like 10 seconds to make. So. <laughs> yeah. But no thought, no frills, right? Yeah. Well, for me, I'm like, oh, it's boring. But I will film the cutting of it at the end of this and explain why I made it. it wasn't my idea. But. So that was fun using the first fragrance out of that collection from Brambleberry. And there's definitely more to come. Look, I even cut into a couple of those little soap balls in there. They look good. I love them. Stay tuned for more soiree collection. Soiree. Uh, yep. There it is. Pardon. Okay, so this is the little side soap that I made yesterday after I got done cutting that peony soap. Um, it is all natural and it is unscented as a request. So yesterday I had a procedure done, a medical procedure done, and I was just not looking forward to it. Lots of anxiety and I wanted to get it over and done with. But in the meantime, I thought, why don't I set up a whole bunch of things for me to do when I get home that I can look forward to. One of them was cutting the peony soap. The other was creating this soap. I went out and got some good food. I got an Alcrate box. So there's just things that I was looking forward to to get me through that medical procedure. And honestly, I was freaking out over this procedure for nothing because it was easy. <laughs> I think the anticipation was the worst part. So, my best friend just so happens to work at the place that I had the medical procedure done. And she says that everyone there wants an unscented natural soap. And to me, I'm like, that's, that's boring. Like, that's, that's too boring and plain for me. I just can't do that. <laughs> this is as simple as it gets. But there were so many people that wanted this soap that I thought, win-win situation. You guys have to be nice to me and I will make you some all natural soap so not scented I did throw on some flower petals on top there is some alfalfa powder in here as colorant some colloidal oatmeal and some honey just to spice things up and keep it a little bit of interest in it for myself <laughs> if you guys are interested in this I will have what is left um, available in the Etsy shop if this is something you guys are interested in seeing, let me know and I will make a video for it and continue to make unscented natural soap. I know that is a market out there for it, but I just can't. It's just, it's just not a challenge for me, you know? But I like how it turned out and I hope everyone is going to be happy. Now that I have gone and made the soap for them, she tells everyone about me, so of course everyone there knew who I was and that I make soap, and so there it is, an all-natural unscented soap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. New to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section down below. You know what to do. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day, and I'll smell you later.